Hello, welcome to my tech fan. My name is Igor, and in this video, I am testing Erivan filaments. Usually, uh, I don't print uh, figures, but I like to print different uh, functional parts or mechanical objects. And uh, I will test these filaments from from mechanical strength aspect. Uh, these filaments are sent to me by everyone, but uh, this is not sponsored video. Uh, but this is what I like with this type of experiments. I will just uh, do the test and uh, provide you the facts and the results. I don't have to tell you my opinion. Uh, but there is a coupon code if you want to buy any of these filaments. Uh, you can use my tech fund coupon code or, or there is a coupon link in the description and you will get a 14% discount. Which filaments I will test? Well, from a haircut aspect, I choose the PLA, PLA Plus, and the PETG. As you can see, the PLA is already open, this filament, because it is included in that my uh, 60 brand comparison test. Quick analyzing of the spools, they are quite equal, so we have uh, on the back side uh, holes where we can see how many filaments we have on the spool. There is no scale on it. On the other side, we have the stickers with the basic information, what color is this, and the most important, the recommended printing temperatures. Uh, unfortunately, this sticker is too big, so it's covering here the holes where we can stick the end of the filament, and it's equal on all three uh, spools. So everyone, please, can you use just a little bit smaller stickers so these holes can be uh, used? Of course, you can just use some kind of needle or knife and, and make this hose, or you can use, as I did, the hole on the on the other side. Okay, uh, uh, just quickly, uh, let's see the one by one. The PLA uh, recommended printed temperature between 190 and 220 degrees Celsius, and I already have the temperature tower printed in my previous video. And uh, here I can see the temperature tower is between 230 and 190. Uh, I had a little bit more stinging on, on 230, but it is above the recommended printing temperature. So uh, the test specimens I will print on the 215 degrees Celsius, or 210, I will see. Uh, I will always try to go closer to the higher limit, because uh, with the higher temperatures I will get better layer adhesion. PLA Plus, it will be in grey color. And you can see the packaging actually here, it is vacuum packaged, very nice sealed. And um, the recommended printed temperature is between 200 and 230 degrees Celsius. It is more taut filament. Uh, here you can see some specification from the website. And this is PETG. Recommended printed temperature between 220 and 240 degrees Celsius. It, it sounds a little bit low to me. I usually print PETG on 250 degrees Celsius on my Prussian Mark 3S. Here you can see the list of mechanical tests I will do with these experiments and I will show you the results after each test type and uh, the all results, the summary, I don't know, maybe, maybe I will upload to my website. Uh, you can find the link in the description. What is important to mention about the PETG that this filament can absorb moisture from the air. So it is important that this filament is dry, otherwise we can have a little bit more stringing than usual. Now I will not dry, I have filament dryers, but I will not dry the filament. I will do what uh, most users will do. I will just take out from the vacuum seal packaging and I will use it. And after using it immediately, I will place it uh, well, back to the, the other packaging, which it can be sealed. I will place back the silica gel inside. Okay, and now let's start uh, printing the test specimens. These test specimens are from my tensile and uh, layer adhesion test. And this printed in vertical position has some small supports. Uh, this is my standard because some filaments may have problems with the uh, weaker adhesion. I don't know, like ABS or something like that. And uh, all I have to do is to cut those uh, supports. And uh, you can see the rest uh, test specimens for torque, uh, impact, bending, and shear stress. These are printed from PLA. And this is temperature tower for PLA+. Plus. PLA+, plus I also started with the temperature tower from 240 to 200 degrees Celsius.
and to be honest i never seen this clean temperature tower even on 240 degrees celsius which is 10 degrees above the recommended printing temperature it's completely clean there is no stringing curved surfaces are also very nice the bridging and the overhang So you can see I printed this test specimens on 225 degrees Celsius and again I started with a tensile and lay adhesion test specimens. On smallest cross section area the dimension is 4 by 4 millimeters in both cases. And here you can see the rest of the test specimens for impact, share, torque and uh, bending tests. And this is now PETG. Immediately when I take it out from the packaging, I uh, use it for printing. Here you can see the temperature tower. Just a little bit more stringing on 250 degrees Celsius, which is 10 degrees above the recommended printing temperature. But below 240 there was no problems at all, so probably I will print this on 235 degrees Celsius, the test specimens. Usually the bridging is less nice on the, with the PETG, because we have less cooling, part cooling. But it came out good, and also the over, overhang looks, actually it looks quite perfect. Interesting. And also the backside curved surfaces also looks very nice. Really pleasant surprise how clear is this PETG printing. Extremely nice printing. Absolutely no stringing on this temperature. Here you can see the start of the bridging for the torque test specimens. And PTG is never nice with the bridging because we have less cooling there, but it was uh, printed correctly. This is my testing setup: one ton chain hoist and 500 kilogram cran scale, and there will be my specimen. I started with PLA, and uh, here you will see I forget to zero the scale before I place those additional hooks. That's why we can see here the negative values after breaking the test specimens. But I will just include that uh, into final result. So this is now PLA plus and and this is now PETG. Here you can see all results and uh, very similar results uh, in, you can see here in the Excel table. The layer adhesion test is similar. All I have to do is to cut these uh, small supports with the pliers and I started with PLA uh, but I noticed that uh, this chain hoist is too big uh, so I replaced it I started to pull in my, in my hands because this is small load I can feel better and uh, I couldn't get uh, constant uh, results here unfortunately but definitely PETG was uh, much stronger here you can see in this Excel table. And this is now shear stress, double sided shear stress. Cross section area of this test specimen is 5 mm. And here I got very similar constant results with ma different, uh, with same materials. This is the result of the shear stress and as you can see all test specimens was shared exactly on those two surfaces cross section areas. And it's time for bending tests. Here you can see my test equipment. Uh, I tried to do something similar like ISO 178. I tried to measure the weight and the deformation. The distance between the supports is 50 millimeters. 
I'm recording here the weight for 2 mm deformation and the braking load in kilograms. PETG deform on lower weight, but uh, it didn't broke completely. This test is based on Sharpie or ISO impact test. I have here 4 kg hammer and it will swing to the other side and that will be the zero position and then I will place a test specimen here and uh, then it will break it and swing to the lower position and from difference in height I can calculate how many energy is used for the breaking the test specimen. The zero position. Pile. Pele plus PTG. So this is the position of the hammer uh, when there was no test specimen. So this is the zero position. And now this is the PLA, PLA plus. And this is the PETG. And from this I calculated the energy used for breaking the test specimen. Bigger value is better, so smaller means its material is more brittle. And I think PETG should perform a little bit better in this uh, impact test. This is first time I'm doing this uh, twist or uh, torque test uh, with these test specimens. Uh, I designed them, that they have the 30 mm distance between two halves. Uh, one side will go inside the 10 mm wrench and the other side will go into the vase and uh, I have here a torque meter and uh, I will uh, twist it and uh, follow the deformation measure the torque and I try to record with this upper camera the deformation of the test specimen. One point four. One point four was the peak. One point four. Oops, interesting. One point one. Hmm, I didn't expect this. Interesting, in, in this test my favorite was is the PLA Plus. Look, almost one rotation it did before it broke. I'm very surprised that the PTGs uh, broke very suddenly. Even compared to the regular PLA. And of course I repeated this test. And uh, with both PLA I got a very similar result, so you can see 1.4 Newton meters with regular PLA. 1.4. This is PLA plus, this time 1.3 Newton meters, but again I could make the whole twist before I feel that it's broken. And PETG performed a little bit better, so it wasn't suddenly that break, uh, but uh, approximately at 1.2 Newton meters, the head broke. The second test was extremely similar with the PLA PLA Plus, only the PETG, PETG didn't broke so suddenly, but uh, not big difference. See? Only after maybe 30 degree twist. The head broke off. 
Well, it's time for temperature test. I believe this is very important part because here we can really understand the difference between PLA and PETG. And I am recording the first movement of the test specimens. And the first movement was made by regular PLA, but immediately after this the PLA plus. And then at 60 degrees Celsius the PETG. I was surprised a little bit. PETG should uh, start to form around 70 degrees Celsius. Interesting that PLA started to deform first, but then this deformation slowed down, this bending, and actually completely failed almost in the same time like uh, PETG. <laughs> the softest. But this one is also soft, PETG. And now the conclusions. So which from these three? Well, usually uh, my advice is that uh, to use PLA, it is quite strong uh, material except if you want something which is uh, less brittle and can handle high temperature then use PETG but now we have this uh, PLA plus which uh, which is tough material like PETG uh, the only advantage of the P PETG is that it has a significantly higher uh, layer tension on this temperature I which I used and also it can handle higher temperatures now, uh, in this test, uh, it started failing with on above 60 degrees Celsius. Usually, PETG should uh, deform on above 70 degrees Celsius. Um, but uh, if that is not a request, then definitely my recommendation is uh, PLA+. Plus. Ah, that will be it. Of course, uh, you can see all results here. And depend of your application, you can choose the correct filament for you. Thank you for watching and happy printing!